It's no secret that one of my absolute favorite tools to use to create and sell digital products online is Canva. Part of the reason why I love Canva so much is because it is super intuitive and very user-friendly even for complete beginners. But another reason I love Canva is because they're always coming out with new features that are so helpful and useful to us business owners. Just when I think there couldn't possibly be anything else that Canva could come up with to enhance the design experience, they continue to blow our minds with more amazing tools and features. At the recent Canva Create event, Canva announced several new tools that are now available to users. I'm honestly so excited that we now have these at our fingertips. So in today's video, I'm highlighting my seven favorite of the new tools that were announced that I think are going to be the most helpful and useful for business owners who are selling digital products online or creating social media content online. Really, if you're doing anything online as an entrepreneur, these are gonna help you. Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kate. If this is our first time meeting, I'm a wife, mom, Etsy seller, and business coach, and I'm here to help you start and scale your online business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. Now, before we hop into talking about all these amazing new features that Canva has just unveiled, I want to let you know I have a free resource for you. It's my free gift to you as a digital product seller. If you're just getting started and you're feeling overwhelmed with all that goes into starting and growing an online digital product shop, then I have a free digital product starter guide that's going to be so helpful to you. It's going to get you started off on the right foot when we're talking about the techie side of things like file types, resolution, softwares that you can use to create digital products. I realize there is so much information out there, so this is going to hopefully condense it all for you, make it really simple, and get your shop started on the right foot. So if you'd like to download that free guide, I'm going to have it linked in the description box below. And I also want to let you know, in case you haven't ever used Canva before, there is a free plan that you can use on Canva and a paid plan pro version of Canva. They're both amazing, but some of the features I'm talking about today may be pro only, or they may have limitations more for free and less for pro. I have a free 30 day trial for Canva pro linked down below as well. So if you'd like to try out Canva, you might as well go ahead and try out pro free for 30 days and see how you like it. And then if you want to, after that, you can downgrade to the free Canva, but that's there for you if you'd like to see how it is on Canva pro. All right, without further ado, let's hop into these amazing new features. Okay, so the first tool we're gonna talk about is called Magic Eraser. So this is basically where you can erase a specific part of an image if you want to just get rid of one specific thing on the image. So to demonstrate, I've chosen this photo here and let's say that I wanna use this as an Instagram post. I could size it the way I want it. But let's say that I wanna make this like an image with text on it that's going to promote a 50% off sale. And I want the text to go across this whole bottom portion here. So I can select the photo click edit photo and come to magic eraser. And this is going to let me choose a part of the photo that I want to get rid of or erase. So let's say I want to get rid of this plant right here. I can take this, this is like an erase brush and I can increase the brush size or decrease it. And I'm just going to use it to select the part of the picture I want to magically erase. So I'm going to highlight this whole leaf right here because I want to get rid of this whole thing. And once I have the whole area selected that I want to erase, then it's going to automatically take it out of the picture for me. And there we go. It took that leaf out of the picture. Now it did leave a little portion. Maybe I missed a little bit when I was highlighting. So I can click on that again and it's going to remove that little part for me. And there we go. That's pretty good in my opinion. And now I might want to just use this for some text. So I could come over here and put in my text box. And now that that leaf is gone, I have the whole bottom area to play with for my text. So I could put in my 50% off and make it as large as I want without having to worry about it being too cluttered. Now the next feature goes somewhat along with this. This is called Magic Edit. And I did want to let you know pretty much everything that is AI powered or artificial intelligence powered with Canva is named Magic Something. So we've got Magic Eraser, Magic Write. This is Magic Edit. So let's take this text off and let's still use this same photo. I'm going to click Undo a few times to go back to where our leaf was. Okay, so let's say we have this image and we don't want to just get rid of this leaf, but we want to change this out for something else or replace it with a different element. We can again click on this, click edit photo, and then we'll come to magic edit. So just like the magic eraser, we're going to use our brush to highlight the area that we want to replace with something else. So again, we're going to highlight our leaf here. 
Okay, and then we're gonna click continue. Now the next step in this is to describe what we want it to generate. So remember it's using AI or artificial intelligence to replace this with something that we want. So we're gonna describe this to the best of our ability. Let's say instead of the leaf there, I want a bunch of wildflowers. I'm gonna type in bunch of wildflowers and click generate. And there we go, it's given us some choices here. So we can select the option that we like the best. Let's say we like these wildflowers the best and then we can click done. All right, we're about to move on to another exciting magic feature, but just wanna remind you, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to get subscribed. Just hit that button down below as well as the little bell icon to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our new weekly videos. Okay, so the third feature we're gonna talk about is another AI feature and this is called magic design. So I'm gonna go back to my camera of a home here. And on the left side of your home page, you'll see a little link that says templates. You can click on that. Up at the top, at the time of this filming, it'll say try magic design. So we can try this out. And this is basically going to create a curated set of templates for us from our media. So if we wanna use a specific photograph or piece of media that we already have, we're gonna upload that. And this is going to automatically generate a whole set of templates that we can use for different things. So if we come here to insert media, let's say that I want to choose a picture of myself, one of my brand photos for a social media post. I might choose this picture and I'm going to upload this photo and it's already generating a whole set of templates for me that are going to use this photo. Now, there we go. We've got a lot of different kinds here, but I probably want to go in and set some filters for this. We can filter by style and we can also put in a headline. We can choose a vibe or a theme. So we've got things like happy, classic, birthday, glitter, creative party. Let's say that I want something simple. So I'm just gonna choose simple for the vibe or the theme. And then I can pick a color style as well that includes colors and fonts. So let's say I like this one and I can click see results. Okay, so that's one step closer, but maybe I want to add in a headline. So I might wanna say something like join me live. Let's add this to our results as our headline. And there we go. So we can see here that it didn't change the extra text. So what we would do here is choose the template that we like the best. Let's say I like this one. Then I can click customize this template. Now I do wanna point out that this has a little crown symbol next to it, which means this is a pro feature. But if I click on customize this template, then I will be able to go in and further customize this to say exactly what I want. I can still change the colors from here if I want to choose a different color. I can size the elements up or down, but this is basically just giving me a shortcut to a template instead of having to start creating something like this from scratch. Okay, the feature number four we're gonna talk about is the text to image tool. Now, this is not a brand new tool. This was announced last year at the time of this filming, but they did make some really awesome updates to the text to image tool. So this is basically a tool, if you're not familiar, where you can actually type in something that you want the AI on Canva to create an image based around. So I'll show you how that works in just a minute, but the updates that they made to this tool are a much faster generation time, as well as increasing the resolution of the images and giving us some more styles to choose from. So I'll show you that in a minute. But if you come on Canva to your Canvas page and you look on the left side where it says apps, it should show up as text to image, or you can search the Canva apps for that text to image. And then you click on that to use it. So the first thing you're going to do here is you're going to just put in a phrase that you want it to create an image from. So let's say we want a monkey riding a bike through the city. Now we can choose a style that we want it to show this image in. So what kind of style do we want this image to be? They've got filmic, dreamlike, photo, retro anime. We can click see all. And we have all these different styles of images to choose from. So let's say we want this as a retro anime image. We would select that. And we can also choose what aspect ratio we want, square, landscape, or portrait. I'm just gonna stick with square for this and let's click create your image. All right, and here are the retro anime images that it generated of a monkey riding a bike through the city. So these are really interesting. It just took our phrase and used artificial intelligence to generate these different images. So we could, if we like any of these, we could go ahead and use this in a design, or we could come down here and let's say we don't really like that style. We can use our same phrase there and choose a different style. So let's say we wanna change it from that anime style to a dreamlike style. We'll click create again. And here we have a monkey riding a bike through the city in a dreamlike style. 
style. So we can see how it changed from that anime style. So this is an amazing tool. If you just have something in your mind, but you haven't been able to find a photo or an asset for it, you can see if it could generate what you're thinking of. Now, this tool is always being improved as our most artificial intelligence tools are always being made better to be able to generate more accurate things. So it may from time to time give you some kind of like wonky things that don't really make sense or aren't really what you typed in. But for the most part, I've been really impressed with this text to image feature. All right, the next tool we're gonna talk about is the draw tool. So I'm just going to demonstrate this by putting in this text box. I just chose one of the Canva suggestions for the font combinations. And I can of course edit this to say whatever I want with whatever colors. But if I have something already in my design, but I wanna add some things that are just hand drawn looking, I can come over here and click on draw. And this gives me the option to actually just choose a pen and to draw whatever I want on the canvas. I can change the color of the pen. I can choose the different styles of pens, the highlighter, the eraser. So let's say I want this pen and I'm going to put it in a different color. I can also change the weight of the pen so it can be bold or it can be skinny. And I can change how transparent it is as well. So if I wanna take the transparency down but make it bolder, I can do that. I can bring the transparency all the way up and it'll be darker. And I can click this eraser. If I've made a mark that I don't like, I would just erase the ones I want to be gone. So you can let your creativity run wild with this, but something that immediately comes to mind for me are those little doodle marks that are really popular. So if I have a design, but I wanna add some of these cute little like just doodle marks like this, around my text or around whatever design I have going on. This is just a fun way to doodle and draw on your own. Now let's add a photograph behind this just for the sake of this example. I'm gonna show you the next feature which is called layers. And this is something that is so helpful if you're working with multiple layers on your canvas. Okay, so of course this is just looking terrible, but these are just for example of these different layers, right? We've got our text layer, we've got these little doodles we made and we've got our background image. Before they came out with this layers tool, it was actually really frustrating when you were working with multiple layers on Canva sometimes because you would go to like move something. See, I just wanted to move that text, but instead it accidentally selected the background photo and it's moving it. There was really no way to just easily select something that you wanted to move around without accidentally adjusting the other layers as well. Well, Canva has now come out with a solution for that, thankfully. And if we wanna see the layers, we would just come up here to position, and this is going to show us all of the different individual layers. We can see all of them, and we can click over to see which ones are actually overlapping. So we see the wow and this little squiggly line are now overlapping each other. Let's say right now this squiggly line is on the top, but we want to send it behind to be underneath the wow. We can click on these and move them to be in the order that we want. So now this squiggly line has been moved underneath the wow, which means on the image, it's going to show up underneath instead of on top. We can also come again over here to arrange and we can just click forward to send it forward, backward to send it back. We can do a lot with the arrangements of these layers, but this is so helpful to have this layers panel so we can clearly and easily see all of the different layers we have going on. And the next tool is something that I personally have been hoping that Canva would come out with soon and they did, and this is gradients. So let's start with a blank canvas here and choose a background color for our canvas. And we might want it to be a gradient instead of of a solid color. So a gradient is where you have two or more colors that are kind of shifting as it goes from left to right or top to bottom. So if we choose a color to start with, then we can come here to document colors. And when we click on this little plus symbol, we have solid color, but we can also click over now to gradient. We can input what colors we want the gradient to be. So we started with this kind of dark teal color. Let's say we want the gradient to include more of like an orange on the other side. We could choose whatever color we want for that. And we can see how how it's going from color to color here. Now we could do three colors if we want. We could just keep adding colors if we want to make our own gradient. And then we can choose the style. So do we want it to be going across from left to right? Do we want it from top to bottom, diagonal, focused on the center and going out? or up in the corner going down and diagonal. There are so many things you can do with this gradient tool to create really cool backgrounds, or even if you have an image underneath and you wanna have a colored gradient on top, you could click this. The possibilities are just endless. All right, friends, well, I hope you enjoyed the overview of those seven features. I think they're gonna be so helpful for all of us online business owners. And don't forget to click that link in the description box below if you'd like to try out Canva Pro for free for 30 days, even if you've already been 
been using Canva, but you just want to see what Canva Pro is like to have use of those extra elements, or maybe you've never even used Canva before, this would be a great way to start. So you can use that link for your free trial. And also don't forget about that free digital product starter guide also linked below. It's going to really help to get you started in your online digital products business. Bye friends.